Mm -hmm. So LA Weekly okay, stop. loves Oh <laughs> Today we're at AOC on Third Street. We're just a stone's throw away from the Beverly Center and Cedar Sinai Hospital. Uh, AOC has been around for over 13 years, which is practically a lifetime in LA. So, LA Weekly loves AOC, having awarded it Best Cocktail in the Past, the Pistachio Colada, and Best Brunch Restaurant in LA. Plus, they rank it the fourth best restaurant overall in the whole city. So we knew we just had to come down here and check the place out. is ran by a couple heavyweights, Suzanne Gowen and Carolyn Stein. They have a few other restaurants that they run. Luke in Hollywood, The Tavern in Brantwood, and a couple locations of The Larder. Carolyn Stein is a superstar sommelier and businesswoman. Suzanne Gowen just won the James Beard Award for Outstanding Chef of the Year, which means right now she's the best chef in the nation. very secret private room upstairs at AOC which is open for private events and if you'll notice it's uh, full of wine this is also a restaurant that's known for its wine selections all of those wines are either organic biodynamic or sustainable Gaio, Eater LA and Thrillist all rank AOC in the top wine bars in the whole city says that AOC has the heart and soul of a wine bar, but in a full restaurant. The original idea was to provide more options than your usual wine bar, which would be charcuterie plates, cheese plates, and out of that idea was born their current menu, which has a large selection of small dishes. So what did you think, Allie? I thought it was definitely one of the best brunches in LA. Uh, we got three things. We got French toast, um, because I obviously insisted. And it, But it wasn't just any French toast. It was sort of a pumpkin squash French toast with delicious cinnamon sugar butter. Uh, it was so good. Even George liked it. And then... I did. <laughs> What did you get, George? I got uh, the southern fried chicken and waffles. The surprise was that the waffles were made out of cornbread and it was so good. The then, chicken, too, it had like this little spice to it. And if it was fried, it was fried in what seemed like a very healthy way because I didn't feel as guilty eating it as I guess I would normally. <laughs> and then another plate that we got was the brioche toast which came with the fried egg, delicious salad, and I also felt pretty healthy eating that. Overall I would say it seemed like a pretty healthy brunch. Those vegetables are picked out by the chef who goes to the Hollywood Farmers Market, I don't know, weekly or daily. Sometimes Suzanne Gowen will go herself and pick out these vegetables so you know you're getting fresh. And you feel like it when you're in there too because the whole place smells like a garden and it's just so cute and homey. It's basically in what looks like a little house with a beautiful outdoor patio. It just is so cute and warm and welcoming. We definitely come back. 